The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime is truly a curious title, but this play digs deep. It's a lot more than the title suggests. I'm talking with some theater fans here at DPAC to see what they are loving most. I actually had to read this book in English my freshman year of high school, and I loved it. I choreographed my um, final exam for my dance class my freshman year about like one tiny paragraph in the show, but I love the book. Mm -hmm. And how does the play live up to the book? It's incredible. It, like they capture all of the details from the book perfectly, but like in the book, it's just, like hard to visualize a lot of things, like the hand touch. But like in the play, they give it so much more meaning than it has in the book, which I thought was really interesting. Actually, I'd love to to shake this the, the hand of the gentleman who plays the character. It's um, it's 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 very difficult to play a not normal character. Uh, so um, I think it requires range as an actor uh, to be able to put yourself in the skin of uh, somebody who might be different. I thought the set is absolutely fantastic, uh, really minimalist yet captivating. I really loved the way that the actors seem to interact with the space, yet the space isn't there in any way that you would normally expect, and then all of a sudden strobe lights hit you. <laughs> Uh, I just think that it's, yeah, I've never seen anything like it. I was really wondering um, when I got the tickets how they were going to translate it all because it takes place all over the city and it takes place in so many different places and I was wondering how they were really going to show like what is going through his head and it just does it in such an amazing way that I never would have been able to think of. I think it's incredible. Be sure to get your tickets for The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime on stage through Sunday at DPEC. Get them at the box office or online at dpacnc.com.